Whoa, that fish. I was just turning around to get, I don't know if this is a pike or what. I was just turning around to get, to go plug in some lights. I think I might have my other line tangled. Oh, it's a big walleye. Oh, it's a big walleye. Oh, this is a nice fish. Oh, this is a nice fish. Yes. What's going on today? We are back out chasing some walleyes. My goal today is to get some cool underwater footage combined with the live scope footage. I did that the other day and I just thought it was so cool to be able to see those stacked right on top of each other, being able to compare what you're seeing on the live scope to what you're seeing on the camera. So hoping to get some really cool footage of that. As the night goes on, I'll probably have to pull up the camera and just rely on the live scope as it gets dark because I'm gonna lose a lot of visibility on that camera. And one of the things that I wanna talk about today is making sure that you are giving yourself the best chance to be around the most amount of fish. And what I'm talking about is finding kind of what you call the spot on the spot. A lot of times that might look something like just a little bit of an inside bend, maybe a tiny little point. We have a lot of these steep breaks or different areas that are along this mid-lake structure. And anytime you can see something that's maybe just a little bit different, a lot of times that is what I like to key in on in order to give yourself the best chance of having the most amount of fish in the area. Any of the areas that might be around some of this mid-lake structure could hold fish, but the areas that I tend to find the most amount of fish for the longest amount of time each day is some of those little different spots. Even if it's something like a little patch of rocks, a little patch of weeds, maybe it's a little bit of sand or a hard bottom to soft bottom transition. Find that irregularity, something that's a little bit different in order to give yourself the best chance to be around those fish for as long as possible. Specifically, see some of that rocky, hard bottom, rubbly stuff on this edge of this break, on the edge of this hump. We're gonna give this a shot, see if we can get some fish cruising through the area and get a few bites. What is that? I'm pretty sure that's an anchor. Yep, that is definitely an old anchor. Well, if that doesn't tell you we're in the right spot, that there's an anchor sitting down there, I don't know what will. That is my next tip for you. If you see an anchor down there, go ahead and fish by it because obviously there's a reason someone had an anchor there. It looks like something. Something tight to bottom. Right underneath the camera. See if we can see what it is. It is a walleye. Come on, come on. Oh, there he is. That was lucky. Wow, what a yard sale. That one came in and bit nice. Oh, there we go. Nice eater sized walleye. I don't need fish now, so I'm going to be sending this one back down. Awesome. That one came through right underneath the camera so I could see it on the live scope, but I wasn't able to see it quite yet on the camera. Sure enough, once we were able to see it in the frame of the camera, it came up, bit just perfect. I had something goofed up with my bail, so I set the hook and it kind of flipped open a couple times, but luckily that fish was still on there. I did almost everything I could not to catch that fish, but sometimes it's better to be lucky than good and was able to get that one in. Awesome fish, fun to see it on the camera, fun to see it on the live scope. It might be a new one, it looks a little bigger. Oh, it looks like it's gonna come in pretty hot. Oh, now it's going to go look at my dead stick. It should be coming into the frame any second. Looks like an okay fish on the live scope. It's going to be a little thicker red. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's, he's right there. He's just getting really tough to see. All right, it's getting a little too dark down there right now to have the underwater camera down, just losing a little bit of clarity, losing a little bit of light. So from here on out, it will be just the live scope footage, which is a pretty good second option. So. Pull up the camera here. Hopefully we can have a few more fish cruise through and a few more active fish. Something coming cruising in here. Right as I was pulling up the camera, geez, this thing is flying. This thing is flying in. And then just stopped. Wow, see if we can get that thing to turn. Man, just making circles down there. Oh, there I think a bit on the live, a bit on my minnow. A little bit of time. There we go. Just needed that 
little bit slower presentation of the dead stick. Jeez, nice fish. Nice eater. These fish have been all kind of in that like 17 inch range. Get my minnow back on my dead stick and get back down there because clearly that one came darting in, came up to look at my jigging rod, circled, 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 finally bit on the dead stick. Whoa, that fish. I was just turning around to get, I don't know if this is a pike or what. I was just turning around to get, go plug in some lights. I think I might have my other line tangled. Oh, it's a big walleye. Oh, it's a big walleye. Oh, this is a nice fish. Oh, this is a nice fish. Yes. <laughs> Let me get a little more light in here. Give you one more quick look now that I got that out. Man, that thing is just a beauty. Just a big belly on that thing. Wow. Get that guy back down. Ooh. There he goes. Wow, that was so cool. Whew. Wow. All right, so we are back in business. I got my lights on. Um, so I was dropping my dead stick back down after catching that fish. And I turn around to go start plugging in my lights. And I can't remember if I saw it on the live scope first, if I saw it on my... Um, rod tip first or what but this thing just came up and just absolutely demolished it I thought for sure it was a pike didn't feel that big it was coming up fairly easy so I thought it was gonna be kind of your mid-range pike and then I looked down and it's a giant walleye that thing was just a thick thick belly on it so much fun so that falling action especially in these deeper clearer lakes these fish I think we underestimate how far these fish can sometimes see especially when they're high in the water column so that fish clearly saw that coming from quite a ways away it came up and it just absolutely smoked it there's a fish coming in Ooh, that thing's darting in whoa that thing is flying come on I'm gonna keep it chasing since it's so aggressive like that I'm gonna keep it chasing up to keep it chasing up there a bit there we go oh it got off man I got some good hooks into him too it definitely wanted to keep chasing that was about halfway up the water column I would have loved to see what that fish was because judging on the hook set that I had and not only that but the live scope what I was able to see on the live scope that looked like another big fish well that's gonna be a wrap on the night I was hoping to get a little more underwater footage, catch a few more fish on the underwater camera, but it was fun to see the fish while we could. Almost as soon as I pulled out that underwater camera, a few more fish started moving through. Then we had a nice little flurry there for a while of seeing a few fish, some nice fish, and anytime you can get a kicker like that, it is just so much fun. It all happens so fast, so it's so fun to be able to record that. That's one of my favorite things about doing some of this. It is so much more work to do any sort of filming yourself, but man, when you catch moments like that, it is so much fun to keep those for yourself, but also share those with others, others that um, share that passion for fishing. I know it's one of my favorite things to do is watch fishing videos on YouTube. It's so fun to see other people's experiences. I'm hoping that you are enjoying some of the videos that I'm putting out. I'm hoping you're able to learn something as I learn. Like I said, got some fun ideas here for the rest of the winter. So I'm hoping to keep kicking out some good ice fishing content for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content. Well, I maybe shouldn't have put the cameras away quite yet because, oh, there's a good one. Oh, this is a big fish. It's a big fish. Oh, oh, I wish you could be seeing this on the live scope right now, but I already put the cameras away. This has got to be a pike the way it's acting. Oh, man. It's another nice walleye. Oh, man. Of course, right after I put all the camera gear away, another sweet fish. Man, just another thick fish. So we'll get this one back down. Awesome. There he goes. Well, I guess this is outro number two. Not a bad way to end the night with another mid-20s walleye. So much fun. Who knows? Maybe I'll stick one more as I'm packing up. That's why it's so important to leave those rods in until the very last moment. Had all the cameras put away, put everything away. Was lucky enough to get my GoPro out as I saw that fish coming in. 
didn't get it on the live scope, but so fun seeing those big fish cruise through, especially late at night like this. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope to see you again soon. Let's <laughs> go.